Hello viewers and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary and I'm Simon Preston. This is the first ever match day experience video so welcome along to this ride as we head to the National Stadium. All set, got my accreditation ready, got the parking pass ready because it's going to be hectic there and also got tickets so I'm ready to get the show on the road. My mother and a cousin of mine is coming with me as well so they'll be along with this journey as well so stay tuned for more portions of this should I give my prediction now? yeah I'm gonna go with 2-1 Jamaica a brace from Corey Burke on this occasion so before I drive off I just wanted to share with you all the, the starting 11 for today's encounter it's a 4-4-2 that is gonna be played by a coach Whitmore and it goes by Andre Blake in goal Dequa Williams alongside Damian Lowe in central defense Alongside Sean Francis at left back, Rosaria Harriet on right back, Dwayne Ambersley and Yuan Grandison to be the double pivot in central midfield, flanked by Michael Binsf and Owen Gordon on the right. And up front, Dino Williams and Corey Burke will be up top for Jamaica. And on the bench, we'll have Ryan Thompson, Ladale Ritchie, O'Neill Fitcher, Andrew Vanzi, Alan Otti, Romario Williams, and Omar Holness. Come on, Ricky boys. All right, gonna drive off now. It's about a half an hour drive to the stadium, so stay tuned as I continue this match day experience. Next stop should be the National Stadium, get through security, and it'll be match time. Come on, Ricky boys. Jamaica 2, Suriname 1. Hmm, that's what I'm going to. Sanjay, what you say? 3 love. All right, let's see. To who? To, to Jamaica. Oh. Have arrived, so gonna head into the stadium now over here so what I'm gonna do now go through security and hit back with you guys all right finally through security now going into the tunnel I'm gonna show you a look at it I get your patties your chicken your burgers your sausages merchandise and all of them thing there all right here we go the field at the National Stadium where we went 53 games unbeaten between 1995 and 2001. This is the National Stadium of Kingston. Will it be up to capacity? Well, we'll see. Quite early for today's match. As you can see, it's not a lot of people so far. How much people in the stadium so far? Are you going to record that? Yes. a little talk with Rum Rum, Romero Williams, Damien Lowe over there and obviously over here the great Omar Holness. <laughs> Basically they're just listening to some music, taking pictures, Instagram and all of those things. About 85 minutes till kickoff, you guys just relaxing, taking it easy, officials moving. So these are members of the Surinamese Football Association I'm watching tonight's match, they're hoping for a victory. Let's see if we can find some more people around JFF administration. The stadium starts to fill up a little bit more. Not Feel the capacity, I don't think, for tonight, but it's definitely a match to look forward to. That one right there is Ed Barnes, he will be the stadium announcer for today's match. So the field is getting a little bit of sprinkle before the encounter. Raymond Grant. 
Grant, Leon Sakuchev, JFF.
evening. Thank you.
leaving the stadium now until next time. Who knows, who knows when we'll be back in here. But yeah, 1-0 victory on our way home. We're heading to the Gold Cup next summer. Yes, yeah, so on our way back home now, 1-0 victory. A bit disappointed that Omar Holness didn't get to make his debut in the Caribbean Cup. But I mean, one of those things and it takes time to get opportunities. So 1-0 victory for Jamaica. Another Concord of Gold Cup appearance. Remember, we came second in 2015 in the United States. So it's time to win that tournament. The memories of that 3-1 loss to Mexico still hurts and we need to get that out of our system. So finally home after Jamaica beat Suriname 1-0 at the National Stadium. Finally breaking our drought at the office. That's right, our last win in the office came back in 2012 on the Tapa as well with that 4-1 victory of Antigua and Barbuba. But now it's gone. We've beaten Suriname 1-0 and now it's history. My voice is a little coarse, I know I've been shouting all day, but wonderful atmosphere. Another thing to tick off the bucket list as well. Seeing a see a few South American country at the, at the office. I've seen South American teams play. But not to see a few South American team. I've seen Chile play against Jamaica at office. In addition to them, I've seen a number of teams, you could say. I've seen now Suriname. Peru was here in 2006. You know. So there has been a number over the past couple of years or so. Uruguay was here back in 2004. So, definitely... There's been quite a number of teams that have made their mark and played at the office. So, thank you very much for being part of this match day experience. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. We really appreciate all the content. Next time, what I'm going to try to do is get some fan cams involved. It's very interesting, you know, Reggae, um, Jamaican fans love to voice their opinion during the match, but after them going shy, you see? <laughs> them shy, them shy, them shy for come on camera. <laughs> but it's alright, you know. We'll find them. We'll find them one way or another, but thank you for being involved. Stay tuned as well for more content here on Reggae Boys Commentary. We're we'll going to the Gold Cup. Yes! Get in there! Oh man, trust me, it's a wonderful experience. After missing out in 2013, it, it really hurt me. 2007 and 2013, those appearances really hurt me missing out. So, 2017, this needs to be our year. Simply, it has to be our year. You know, coming second to Mexico in 2015. It has to be our year where a Caribbean team wins the Gold Cup. It has to. So remember, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video along in my YouTube channel as well for the match review for this match as well. And last but not least, come on, reggae boys!